What do we have here, Jay? We have uh, pork butts, bone-in pork butts, pork shoulders for our pulled pork, which <clears throat> looks like a pretty good nugget. It's very hot. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to save this to eat. Mm. But it's, uh, it's been in since 7.30 this morning. <clears throat> we can, all the fatty parts are very, very jiggly. <laughs> but this uh, this meat right around the bone. If this was done, this bone should be able to wiggle and come out really clean. Yeah. But the meat that's right around it is still, you know, still down at a temperature that doesn't really help it out. So what we're gonna do is wrap them up. Uh, we're gonna turn off the smoke because it's no longer gonna help. And we're gonna just use the uh, electric elements in Tripper here. And then they will take these for the next uh, the next few hours. I've already sanitized this, so I'm comfortable eating that off that. <laughs> uh, so the electric elements will take over for the next couple hours. And uh, we're going to get this temperature to even out internally. And we're looking for about a 205 degree internal temperature for the end product. And this, what this wrapping does is it, it keeps that heat inside the paper. It keeps all that moisture inside the paper as well, so that we're not losing uh, all the, the fatty goodness to drippings. We mm -hmm. want to keep all that in, and we want to keep it moist. So, just going to double wrap it here. Leave the second layer relatively loose. our homemade uh, butcher paper cutter here. So that's just going to sit like that and these are all going to cook off for another couple hours. It's about a 14 hour process for the pork shoulders. Fortunately we're sticking a little bit but not too much. Again, this bone is still pretty tight in there. Yep. And the internal, as much as the outside is done, the inside is not. So we need to even out that temperature over the next few hours. Awesome. 